from beautiful and sunny Falmouth. If you've been with us a while, you know that Pete's family is from here and we were here about a year and a half ago. You may have even seen the Walcott Guide to Pasties. I'm Peter Walcott, this is Falmouth Cornwall. And this is the Walcott Guide to Pasties. Cornish pasties. <laughs> It didn't matter. It didn't. Needless to say, last time we got a little bit fixated on the Cornish pasties. This time we have over a week here and we realized there's so many cool, hip, independent spots to eat. So we wanted to feature some of them that we love, some we haven't tried yet. And that's what this video is. Enjoy. That's a cool um, First, really nice day we've had here, right? It is a gorgeous day in Falmouth. So we've taken the Flushing Ferry to Flushing to go to one of our favorite spots uh, for lunch. Pete, is it problematic that our first place we're eating and our guide to where to eat in Falmouth is in Flushing? It's just across the river, the water. Come to Flushing. This is my hat. So we normally come here for the mussels, which are on their way, but couldn't resist. Mackerel pate. Mm, that's good. Mm, that's really good. I've never had mackerel pate before. It's that really lemony as well. Mm. Winner. Cheers. Love that it's in a teacup. I think mussels are one of the most like underrated fish ever. Pete says I call them fish, they're not fish, they're shellfish. I thought I said seafood, but you know what I mean. The chips are really good too. After lunch, while you're waiting for the ferry, you can come to this really great playground. And it has a really nice view. Yeah. Good morning. It's raining today. We only lucked out with the sun for one day. So we're gonna stay really close to home. We saw what looked like a really cool coffee shop across from what looked like a really cool bagel shop. And so we're gonna go check them out. And if they're good, you'll see them here. Hey, so did you bring your sunglasses? No. Oh, good job you don't need them, isn't it? Take me out, I wanna see. Okay, one croissant, please. Yeah, one croissant. Uh, and two coffees. And two coffees? One coffee. Vanilla and chocolate. Vanilla and chocolate <laughs> coffee? <laughs> This is dark pony coffee, and I don't know how to talk about coffee, but it's really good. It's really good. It's clumping. You got the Mexican beans, right? I think I've got rain all over my lens, but that place was great. And also, we met a lot of cool people in there. And now I'm very skeptical of this video because I think they just added like six or seven places to our list, and we just don't have enough time, which is great. It means there's a lot happening in Falmouth. We're gonna go get bagels now, which I'm even more skeptical about. I'm Jewish, my mom's from New Jersey. I don't often eat bagels in other places outside of like New Jersey, New York. But I also love bagels. So we saw them in the window last night. We are tempted. Go, go, go steady. Sometimes go. risks don't pay off. Uh, and full disclosure, we're making this video that's supposed to be what to eat in Falmouth that most of these places we haven't been to. Um, but I'm still gonna tell you about it, even though I wouldn't put it on your must eat list. When Pete and I have bagels abroad, often, unfortunately, they're in the camp of uh, bagel shaped bread. And while this one was, you know, closer to the spectrum of bagel, it was definitely still bagel shaped bread. My bones to pick with them is that there was not enough cream cheese at all. I like like a New York amount of cream cheese. And the sandwiches looked gorgeous, but they were all pre-made at the counter. And so I asked like if I order one of these 10 pound bagel sandwiches, 
will it be made fresh? And she pointed to the fridge and said, no, it will come from the fridge. And so Pete's, the quality of the smoked salmon was delicious. The rocket, sure, nice touch, but it was soggy. If you really, 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 really have to have a bagel, that's not a bad shout. I would probably buy it plain and then go doctor it up at home. And those are my thoughts on bagels that nobody asked for. Steph, I thought this was like a guide to family with restaurants, not like your dissertation on bagels, you know? It's a what? Paradise. A paradise? It's a seagull, honey. You know when I'm missing family? I go on to Daddy, Arbor Lights Daddy, Daddy, I website. Like fish and I like fish and chips. You like fish and chips? Well, that's great. Hayes is set. Um, so I go on the Harbor Lights website and uh, they have a webcam there, which is like up over there and it overlooks the harbor. Helps me remember family. <laughs> I also, I mean, there's days where I've, I've just had it on for hours, just sat there watching it. And then realized that it's actually broken and I'm just looking at it. Where are we getting fish and chips? Uh, we're gonna go to Harbor Lights. Harbor Lights. Should we sit in? <laughs> we got the, um, the hay, which is fresh, from Newland, which is just a little bit down their coaster. Uh, we also got cotton chips as well. And, maybe controversial for this part of the world, we've got curry sauce and it's really, really good. And mushy peas, which I'm not really a fan of, Stephanie is, so those are all for her. It's raining. Uh, and I'm just running out to grab falafel at Fal Falafel, which is actually a place we have eaten. And one of the best falafel I've ever had, uh, but I haven't had it in years. Left uh, Pete and Hayes at home because it's lovely weather. <laughs> This is as good as I remember it. So delicious. This, I have this like hot sauce in it, which is very hot. All the fixings. I want to do the high So water. delicious. Also, it's very traditional to have a cup of tea with a fowl for left. Come back to this place, it's called Faux Bar. We tried to come last night. Really cute, love, love how it's done. I'm drinking some very gorgeous uh, Lucky Buddha rice beer, which I'm really enjoying. Um, well, I just ordered some scallops, and ah, interestingly, cooked with the bellies on, which is like not that common. The broth is so like bony, fatty, meaty, I don't know. Look at that though, look at that brisket. Legit. All right, another day in Falmouth, and we are having lunch at Subzi, which is new since we were last here. And actually, I had it we, as soon as we walked by it, we knew we had to eat here. It, they just have the most beautiful salads. I had it to go the other day, and I didn't film, but now we're back dining in. And the great thing about it is that you just have to pick a lunchbox, and you get all the salads from that day, um, and they're always different. So it's completely different to what I had the other day. I'm like amazed at the amount of like stuff you get. It's excellent. Nah. I don't. Nah. No. Nah. What more? Nah, 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 nah. Nah. A place like this is great because you could never cook this at home. You could cook one of these dishes, but there's so many ingredients that there'd be no way to like do this in a cost-effective way at home to have so many different vegetables. Uh, big fan. Hey, my friend. We've just taken the bus to Penryn, and we're currently searching for a brewery, but we are on the campus of the, get ready for this mouthful, University of Exeter, Penryn Campus, Falmouth University. Oh, thank you. It's gorgeous though. We wanted to come to this verdant brewery because we've seen it everywhere, 
and we saw that it was like an easy bus ride, but we didn't know it'd be this like lovely walk. Cheers. Oh, we didn't do it yesterday, did we? Should we do yesterday, Thailand? So we've come to Verde Brewing. It's great. It reminds me of Asheville. It's like a massive brewery. Nobody's here, so it's early. And I love this place because they have like 14 different IPAs, which is great. And every one I've had is delicious. And they've got a wood fried oven. We've ordered a pizza that looks really good. Mm. That's awesome. It's like a Neapolitan. Style pizza. Oh, the pepperoni is good. It's got Mommy, a nice kick. Mommy, you can see the inside of it. Look, is that cool? Mommy, you can see the inside of it. Wow. That's awesome. Afternoon, it's Mother's Day here in the UK, which is great because it means I get to celebrate Mother's Day in the UK and then go home and it'll be Mother's Day in the States in May. But anyway, we just had a lovely Sunday roast at the Penny. Oh. You know what that's a Mother's Day? It's, it's Daddy Day. Then you asked me earlier, when is it Kids Day? And I said it's Kids Day every day. We celebrate you every day. Okay, we wanted to go to our go-to, which is the Pandora, which is across the water in... Mylar. Mylar. Uh, but we don't have a car this trip, and we wanted to rent a boat, but it's not running yet because it's March. And that, that was a good option. It was very good. It was kind of tough to get a reservation. I don't know if that's Mother's Day, if it was popular. Um, it was very solid. And Pandora is still my favorite in both charm and atmosphere and food. But a roast is a roast and they're usually pretty good. Even the best for last. We are officially on the train back to Exeter, which means that this video is over. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Of course, it wouldn't be a video about going to Coral with a pasty, so we saved uh, some rose pasties for the train ride home. If you want to know our favorite pasties, <laughs> again, I can in good conscience recommend that video, but I will link it. Thanks for watching. Come to Cornwall.